Hello all, this video is on sending NPK soil sensor data to Blink IoT Cloud, the new Blink IoT. Here we are using the three leg soil NPK sensor, which has got IP68 level protection and has got four wires, the brown and black wires for supply, 12 volt we will be using and yellow and blue wire for RS485. RS485 to USB dongle is used for analysis and then we use ESP32 and then RS485 to TTL auto direction board to send to cloud. Now let us connect the uh, uh, soil sensor to RS485 to USB and then plug in the soil sensor uh, onto the soil. Plug the RS485 to USB to your PC and get the COM port allotted. Provide the power, uh, power source. We are using 12 volt 2 ampere and then open the RS485 uh, tool that is a configuration tool a link is given in the description below open the tool select the NPK in one to get the picture there is a three leg uh, NPK sensor picture and then select the port and the baud rate is 9600 click on connect now you directly get the NPK values in mg per kg now click on disconnect at the bottom uh, right hand side uh, corner you get the hex code to send uh, to get the values from the NPK sensor copy this hex code and paste it onto notepad so that we will edit for getting the all the three values here the 01 is the device ID that is the NPK sensor ID 03 is the uh, read holding register and 001 is the starting address to read from and 0003 let us make it as 03 that is number of registers to read let us make it as 03 and then we have to calculate the error code crc16 error code for this go to the online link uh, select the uh, input as hex and output as uh, hex and then select crc16 now copy and paste this six uh, data that is a six bytes of uh, hex data onto this uh, online calculator and click on crc16 now you get a value hex value two bytes of value uh, here you have to feed it in reverse if it is cd665 six, six, you have to enter it as 65 that is the low byte for first and then the high byte uh, the last cd that is 65 cd is the crc16 error code now this uh, eight bytes of data copy and we'll analyze using the cool term uh, by sending the hex code what uh, data we get back set the serial port and then connect view hex click on view hex and then connection send string select the hex and paste this uh, uh, 8 bytes of data including the crc16 code and then click on send now you get hex array uh, back now let us analyze this hex array it is 0103 that is the 01 is the id of the npk sensor 03 is the command and then 06 is the number of bytes we received back uh, after this 0026 value hex value this is the n value and then the 0036 is the p value and 006c is the k value it is all in hex finally the two bytes of crc16 code this is very important if crc16 code is wrong you will not get the values now let us connect the RS485 to TTL board to uh, uh, ESP32 and then the uh, NPK sensor like this. GPU17 TX2 is connected to TX and GPU16 RX2 is connected to RX straight connection. 3.3 volt is taken from the pin 1 of ESP32 for the RS485 to TTL board. Connect the NPK sensor to A and B of RS485 TTL. Let us see the Arduino code. First, uh, select the board as uh, ESP32 uh, development module and then select the correct COM port. And then first we define the serial port. That is serial 2 we are using of uh, ESP32. And then the query data, hex data, 8 bits of data to send. This is the uh, hex data to send, 0103. 001 is the start address to read from and 0003 is the number of registers to read and then the finally CRC16 uh, error code 2 bytes. This is the hex query data to send to the NPK sensor and one under wide setup we begin the serial port of ESP32 
and under void loop we send we use the serial dot write to send the hex data and wait for the received hex data array this is the hex data array we received from the uh, npk sensor and we split out the npk values that is total 11 bytes of data uh, we receive and uh, by 3 and 4 we get the n value and uh, byte 5 and 6 p value and uh, byte 7, 8 and uh, 7 and 8 we get the potassium value we split out the data and print it on the serial monitor upload the code and then open the serial monitor at uh, 9600 baud you get the npk values it is a uh, bit fast so let us add a delay at the uh, end of the loop find in millisecond and upload the code again now you get the data at proper speed now let us see the blink iot uh, uh, design we are using the free version of the blink iot which has got some limitation we can use only up to two devices and five users and main constraint is the data streams there is only five data streams per uh, template allowed so only five data values we can get from this free version now create new template and then provide a name and then select the device as esp32 and connection is wi-fi and click on done and uh, uh, go to the data streams section and click on new data stream and then select the virtual pin there is also a digital pin analog pin but virtual pin design is easier Just click on virtual pin and then provide a name for the first virtual pin let us provide it as nitrogen and select the pin as v1 and data type is integer units uh, it is predefined units so we cannot provide units here and the values from 0 to 999 and click on new data stream again and select the virtual pin for the second one that is a pause for us select the virtual pin as v2 data type is integer and uh, values minimum is 0 maximum 999 same way for uh, potassium select the new data stream virtual pin v2 is uh, v3 is allotted for this potassium data type is integer and uh, finally click on save on the right hand side uh, top right uh, now let us go to the web dashboard web dashboard design and uh, left hand side you get the widgets we will be using only the gauge so three gauge widgets let us uh, drag and drop to the um, web dashboard and uh, on the first gauge click on the gear icon and uh, provide a title and you have to set the data stream to nitrogen that is a v1 we have allotted the virtual pin as v1 select it as v1 if you want you can change the colors according to the values click on save same way for the second gauge uh, provide a name as phosphorus and data stream will link it to v2 that is for assigned to phosphorus and the third one let us assign the data stream to uh, v3 that is for potassium and click on save and if you want uh, uh, different colors for uh, uh, nitrogen uh, potassium and phosphorus select the uh, box color box at the bottom of the setting and uh, select any color so now it will be displayed in different colors npk values in different colors click on save and now we have to add the device left hand side top click on devices and then click on new device and click on from template and select the template you design now that is the npk and click on uh, save now you get the uh, device template id device name and then the authorized to token at the right hand side top copy these three values this is very important and then paste it in a notepad this will be used in our uh, Arduino code now let us see the Arduino code for this uh, uh, for sending npk values to blink iot on the very top of the code you have to uh, paste this uh, template id template name and then the authorized token we got from the uh, blink iot template design it should be on the top of the code very top of the code and then we include this three header files wifi.h wifi client.h and then the blink simple esp32.h previously you should have installed the blink library from the library manager of Arduino IDE 
and then you have to uh, provide your SSID and password of your Wi-Fi so that the ASP32 will connect to the cloud and then they define the TX or X pins as GPU 17 and 16 and initiate the blink timer object and we have uh, two functions to be defined that is a read modbus response and the, the send sensor two functions are defined and uh, in the void setup we begin the serial begin and uh, blink we begin using this uh, authorized token and then the wi-fi ssid and the password and we use the send sensor uh, call the send sensor function by pausing on the argument thousand that is every one second this uh, function is called from the blink iot and then under the wide loop uh, we use the blink dot run function and the timer dot run function and call the read mode bus response and after a delay we this loop is repeated and uh, this function send sensor send the uh, 8 bits of hex array data as a hex query and wait for the response and uh, this read mode bus response we check for the serial data available and uh, the total 11 bytes of data we receive and we split out the data npk values per, uh, that is a third and fourth byte for fifth and sixth byte and seventh and eighth bit npk values on the right and we pass on the values to the virtual pin of the blink using blink dot virtual right we pass on to v1 v2 v3 the npk values that is we are passing on the actual uh, real-time data to the blink cloud now upload the code to the ESP32 and then go to the blink console now you get the data on the blink console that is the web console web dashboard now let us uh, change the data stream uh, go to the edit the data stream to values 0 to 250 so that we can clearly see the values all the three uh, npk val values maximum values set it to 250 and then save it again go to the devices and click on the template now you can see on the web dashboard the nitrogen phosphorus and potassium values in uh, mg per kg now let us see the mobile console design install the blink iot from uh, uh, google play store it is available for android as well as ios select your uh, login to your account select the template npk uh, template we designed from the web console and then select the widget box and select three gorges as done in the web console select three gorges and then select the first one and then uh, the settings icon link the v1 that is the virtual pin v1 to nitrogen first value provide the title as nitrogen uh, if you want you can do the alignment and then the font size and as in a color same way for the second uh, widget uh, select another gauge and link the phosphorus to that is the virtual pin uh, v2 to phosphorus and go to the uh, device settings and uh, provide a title and uh, font size you can change and as in a color finally go to the third gauge which is assigned to potassium this is linked to v3 virtual data pin of uh, uh, blink iot you can do the settings as uh, previously uh, and assign a color so finally go to the back icon you can see the values npk values on your mobile thank you for watching